guys, let's get to this. This is Gina of Gina Renee RN Budgets. I'm a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash as well as the cashless envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. I do videos about cash stuffing, budgeting, grocery hauls, couponing, anything revolving around saving money. So if that's the type of content that you're interested in, then please take a moment and press that subscribe button. And don't just stop there. Turn on your notification bell because some of my couponing videos are time sensitive. So you don't want to miss out on any deals that I post that may only be good for a day. If you're a returning subscriber, hey nosies, it's another grocery haul. <laughs> this one is a little bit different, you guys. So just kick back, stay tuned. It's really going to bless you. If you watched my last video, which I'll post, I'll try to remember to link it in the iCards so you can see that my grocery budget I started off with was $160, all right? So I'm going to start kind of in this corner because this corner, I don't really know the prices because this was a blessing from someone special. And I went and picked up from Walmart. <clears throat> and um, it was a big five pound bag of boneless, skinless chicken breast, some shrimp, some salmon, a big bag of kale, some spinach, ginger, which is wonderful for my husband. He likes to juice. He always adds ginger. And you guys know he's gonna be starting chemo. And so, one of the most common, most, you know, bothersome side effects is nausea. And you guys, ginger is good for settling your stomach. So for me, this was thoughtful and amazing. Um, <clears throat> some bananas, which he adds to his smoothies, a bell pepper, a red and a green bell pepper, some blueberries, an onion right here. And there's some stuff that I guess wasn't available that's going to be shipped here. So I just want to thank you. I don't like to call names. You know who you are. I know <laughs> you'll be watching. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That was a very wonderful and much appreciated blessing. All right. So that definitely helped me stretch my grocery budget for this week. All right. I'm going to post my um, meal plan. But one thing I need you guys to keep in mind, when I post my meal plan, I only post dinner, but literally for my husband, I make breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, seven days a week. He's still losing weight though. So the last time we went to the doctor, the doctor wants him to start eating maybe a little bit of a smaller meal, but every two hours he wants him to be eating something. <laughs> so I sat down with my husband because his taste buds have been off since he had surgery. And some of the things that I'm used to making for him, he doesn't like anymore. His appetite is kind of, <laughs> he's forcing himself to eat. So I just asked for suggestions for him of things that he might like. His hemoglobin, which is his blood count, is super low his protein is low so for a while we were trying to do just plant-based pescatarian but because of these factors the doctor did want not want him to have any restrictions to his diet he just wants to make sure he gets extra iron as many calories as he can so he doesn't want any limitations to his diet for right now in order for me to maximize my grocery budget I always go to several different stores. That's how I save the most money. So for me and my area, the cheapest store really is Aldi's that I can count on all the time having the lowest prices. But at the same time, there are some things at Aldi that I can't find at Aldi's. And so from there, I would normally go to Walmart. And then, I love Kroger. Kroger saves me a ton, but Kroger is only cheap if it's on sale. Regular prices, just flat out going to the grocery store at Kroger, no ma'am, I'm not doing that. Every single thing I buy from Kroger 
is on sale or I have a digital coupon for it. So we'll start at Aldi's. I started with $160, you guys. Follow me on this, okay? I had a $100 bill, a $50 bill, and a 10 So in my mind, I already knew that I wanted to keep that 100 for Kroger because I had my list written out. And, you know, I like to overshoot it because, <laughs> you know, when you're dealing with cash, you really don't want to go over. All right? But I'm going to explain to you guys the way I was explaining it to my daughter. I got a couple pizzas right here. One is sausage. Underneath that is a Supreme. And they were $3.29 each. Then I got some Cool Whip. And that was $0.95. Cent. It's two bags of fries here. A season and a crinkle fry. And they were $1.75 each. My husband requested. And I don't like it, y'all. I think it's disgusting. But <laughs> he requested these Salisbury steaks <laughs> but he's getting a port in on Wednesday so I wanted to have something that you know was kind of quick and easy just depending on how our day goes and if he's feeling kind of groggy I wanted to kind of be there for him and with him not in the kitchen trying to make a big meal so then he requested pot pies he loves pot pies and those kind of make not a, not a lunch because for me that's not enough to him for him but it'll be a nice in-between meal, the pot pies. And they were only 89 cent each. And then I got the heavy whipping cream in the back. That was $3.89 right here. This is for my son. He eats probably grilled cheese every God's blessed day. Um, so I got him the lunch meat. Then I got right here the yogurts. A 59 cent, I got four yogurts, okay? I give my husband a yogurt every morning. Like, normally he gets up super early and it's kind of too early to make like a heavy breakfast. So I usually give him some cereal and a yogurt and a piece of fruit just so I can take his vital signs and he can take his medication. We take his blood sugar first and then that's what he usually will eat. He can eat it right there, not even get out the bed. And a lot of times he goes back to sleep after that. Spring mix, he loves salads, even though he hasn't been eating them like he used to. But this bag was $2.39. And then he likes brie, and that's $3.39. So that's a nice, healthy, fattening snack for him. And then I got him this little, he likes prosciutto and he likes cheese. So I got him this little snack tray. That was $3.09. He requested that we have turkey tacos one day. So I got the turkey, I mean the taco mix and the taco shells. And I already have some ground turkey. I got the pasta entrees. This is just like pastaroni, but it's the Aldi brand and it tastes exactly the same. And this was 89 cent. And then I got him these fruit bowls. They were $2.39 each. That's something I would give him maybe with some cereal. Then he wanted chili. And so I got it with beans because beans are high in fiber and iron. And that was $1.19 each. I got a thing of chicken broth that I'll use for whatever I end up cooking, $1.29. Then I got unsweetened applesauce, another snack or breakfast item. It was $1.79. Then... Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I don't know why he just likes it. Um, and he likes the vegetable beef. But Aldi only sells the chicken noodle and the cream of chicken, I think. And it's only $1.17 <coughs> each. I got these deli rolls for the meatball subs, and they were $2.19. And then I got him these iced oatmeal cookies because oatmeal, of course, has a lower glycemic index. So those are a lot safer for him to eat when he wants something sweet, all right? So I told you guys I was hoping I wouldn't go over $60. <laughs> and here's my total, 60 90 <laughs> okay? So y'all know with my fives and ones and my coin challenge, pretty much in my wallet at any given time, it's always kind of full, but I had just unstuffed my wallet. <laughs> So I really didn't have any change or anything. But honestly, even if I did, I still wouldn't have touched it 
So I had to use the hundred dollar bill, right? So y'all see that here. I used the hundred dollar bill. The change, $39. Okay. You know that $9 was a five and four ones. So I had to take that $9 and stuff it in my secret compartment. All right. So where are we at? That left me with $90 to go to Kroger. All right. So I was planning on a hundred. Now I'm at 90. I didn't cross anything off my list. I just was like, hey, I got it. Let's just see what we can do. All right. So Kroger is kind of in the middle here. Uh, I started, it starts off with the two apple juices and they were on a mega sale for only $1.27 each. Then my son, this is his favorite Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm gonna make him pay me back $4.29 for that. And oh God, I hate the way Kroger. <laughs> They uh, 129, 179. I don't know what that is. This nitro, where is it at? This here, I don't drink it, but it's it's new, so it always has a coupon on it. I got one from Dollar General too, so I get it and put it up for my daughter. And it was two dollars, but it was a dollar off coupon. The Marie Calendar pie. My son likes pumpkin, and I do too, really. And it was on sale for 4.99. Then the taquitos right here. That's another quick option for my husband or my son. Those were on sale for $4.49, and it's a pretty big box. Then I got two more pot pies because they had beef, and they were a dollar each. Then the meatballs back there, that's for our meatball subs, and they were $3.77 each. That was a good price. The ribeye steaks were on sale and I don't know if I had a coupon or what, but somehow one of them ended up being, I'm looking at the receipt. One was $5.58 and one was $5.98, the ribeye steaks. All right, so you know those are packed with iron. Then Tennessee Pride Sausage, that's right here. It was $3.99. Onion rings, I got, they were $2.29. I got these because my husband's a diabetic, so it's better for me to make onion rings for him than french fries. Then I got coleslaw mix somewhere here. And I got, that was 97 cent, it was on sale. Shredded cheese, okay. All the Kroger shredded cheese. These bags were only $1.47 each. So I stocked up, I got three shredded cheese and three sliced, um, all $1.47 each. And oh, this, this cheese here, I don't know what that other, this cheese was $2.29. So it's a better deal than the craft. Um, the shrimp bowl, oh, right here, $5, that's just a quick snack. My husband probably gonna eat that in a few minutes. Then the Nature's Own Bread was on sale for $1.99. The chips, some are missing because my son likes these little honey barbecue twists or something like that, Frito-Lay. And they were $1.88, but you had to buy four bags. Well, I wasn't about to eat four bags of chips, so I got him three and he already took them. <laughs> and I got this bag of Doritos. So that was the fourth bag, making them $1.88 each. Then I got these Tostitos that were $2.49. I got those because my son, when we make tacos, he don't like tacos. He'd rather have nachos. So that's why I got that. And then the Ruffles, my husband likes Ruffles. They were $2.49. Then my favorite eggs here, they were on sale, $3.99. That's what I prefer, pasture-raised eggs. The Kroger Butter was on mega sale for $2.47, I think, each. Then I got four more yogurts here. The Carb Master yogurts, they were 50 cent each. The asparagus to go with my husband's steak and baked potato was $2.17, all right? So I'm gonna put in a little clip of my trip. Some of you guys already saw it on Instagram. But, like I just told y'all, I had $90, and I was walking around the store talking to my daughter, and I was like, oh my God, I hope I have enough. Let me get out of this store. 
<laughs> I'm like, cause I don't want to go over. And sure enough, before I put my number in, it was $162. And literally I was at the, at the store like, okay, <laughs> Lord, work your magic. I better have enough coupons because I'm not going over 90 and put in my phone number. Thank you. My coupons came off and y'all saw on Instagram that my total came out to $89.57 and I gave my $90 and got 43 cents to put in my coin section but I also got 289 fuel points which you all can see I got about 500 plus these 200 fuel points. So that's like 700 fuel points. So for fuel points at Kroger, that means I can use that to get 70 cent off per gallon, okay? My car has a big tank. It has like, it holds like 18 gallons, right? So the 70 cent times 18, don't make me do math right now, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like, I can use that, so I'm saving in that area. Plus, I can go to Shell and use Get Upside. And normally for premium at Shell, Get Upside gives me at least 25 cent off per gallon. So the 70 from Kroger and then the 25 cent per gallon that I'll get back from Get Upside, that makes my grocery budget stretch even more. All right, so this is how I make my budget stretch. You guys, if you want more details on how I do it, you all can DM me, leave it in the comments if you have any questions. And literally, <laughs> I just use my Kroger sale paper. Everything I get that's on sale that I want, I write it down. Then I go to my digital coupon section and start clipping coupons and looking to see if there's any coupons for the things that I wrote down. Nine times out of 10, there are coupons. And the more you shop at Kroger, they start sending you best customer coupons. I had a $10 off my next shopping trip. They give me coupons that not everybody gets. So the more I shop there, the more coupons they send me and then my Kroger fuel points add up and that's how I maximize my savings. So I know this was a kind of a longer one, but I appreciate you guys for sticking it out. This is what I got. Again, thank you to the special person that blessed us with the groceries. It was much appreciated. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.